Hey Sebastian. Hey Matthias. What is your absolute dream dive destination? Galapagos. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I think that you're not alone with that on the top of your list. Can you imagine anyone having Minnesota on the top of their dream dive destination list? Hardly. <laughs> well, let's have a look at today's video because I think that one was made in Minnesota. Maybe that's going to change your mind. All right. Let's figure it out. Hey, and welcome back to the channel and another episode of Reviewing Your Underwater Films. Today with the lovely Sebastian. And the more amazing Matthias. Oh, I'm more amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So, Galapagos, uh, I didn't share my absolute dream destination. Because which... nobody cares. Yes, okay. Uh, if you do care, let me know and I'll put it down in the uh, comment section below. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you. So, today we've got a submission from... Ryan. From Ryan. Ryan is from Minnesota, if I remember correctly. Well, yes, I guess so. Okay, if not, then our whole intro doesn't work anymore. Uh, <laughs> well, so hopefully, Ryan, you are from Minnesota, but the film that you've submitted is made in Minnesota, about Minnesota diving. I've never been to Minnesota. I've never dived in Minnesota. I, haven't even, I didn't even know there was diving in Minnesota. So I'm pretty curious to find out what you've put together. It is a highlight reel as well, isn't it? It is of, from the summer of 2022. Excellent. So I'm hoping for some highlights. <laughs> and uh, do you have any more information, like camera and so on? I don't. So okay. I'm useless, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say like usual, because that's not true. But without getting too much into this, let's watch Ryan's film first and continue our little conversation afterwards. Shall we? Shall we, yeah. Yes. It's my turn, it's your turn, it's your turn. It's my turn, it's your turn, it's your turn. Oh, big camera. It's my turn, it's your turn, it's your turn. Nice. It's my turn, it's your turn, it's your turn. It's about to drop. I'm a champagne bottle and I'm about to pop. Cream of the crop. Gonna ride this rocket till I'm at the top. It's my time, it's your time, it's your time. It's my time, it's your time, it's your time. It's my time, it's your time, it's your time. It's my time, it's your time, it's your time. Are you ready? What do you know? The heartbreak kid just stole the show. Breaking the mold. I'm a firecracker, baby. I'm about to explode. Awesome. Awesome tradition. Lights, camera, action, baby. It's my time. It's your time. It's your time. Visibility like here. It's your time. It's your time. It's my time, it's your time, it's your time. It's my time, it's your time, it's your time. It's your time, it's your time, it's your time. It's your time, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to watch it again. <laughs> I am so ready. Thank you, Ryan, so much for submitting this awesome film. I just love this. How yeah. do you feel about it? Yeah, absolutely captivating. Pretty, pretty cool. And and yeah, I mean, I mean, the shot is it's not a not a tiger shark, a bull shark, a school of mantras. Yeah. It's just uh, freshwater 
diving and uh, yeah, it's so captivating. It's mm. pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Well, very, very well done, Brian, on this on this exquisite piece that you've put together here. I mean, it's 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 short. It's fascinating. It's captivating. It's very creative in the way that you've edited it all together to like a really round, complete piece that just wants you go diving, really. And I mean, you should submit this to like, I don't know, the Minnesota Tourism Department because, man, they can use some advertisement like that. If, if I see this, I want to go diving in Minnesota. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, specifically with you, Ryan, because <laughs> it seems like you, you're you having a good time underwater. So <laughs> really, yeah, it's really, really cool. Actually very funny yeah, with the fish in front of the camera and, and behind the camera. Absolutely. It's pretty cool. Absolutely. Before we get a little more into detail with this, let's just take a quick break for a minute and thank our sponsor of today's video. Yes, they did sponsor the t-shirts as well. Dive Fork, if you guys uh, don't know who Dive Fork is, you should definitely look them up. They're the company who makes the unique, one-of-a-kind underwater smartphone housing that allows you to use the touchscreen of your smartphone underwater. So you can, wherever you are, use your smartphone underwater to capture your amazing underwater adventures. Have them right there on your camera roll, all the images and clips after you come up from a dive and you can share them readily to your social media networks, to friends and family and so on. If you guys uh, haven't checked out Dive Fork, there is a link down in the video description below which will take you to the Dive Fork website and their web shop and Dive Fork as part of their sponsoring here is offering every one of you a 6% extra discount on any purchase that you're making from the Dive Fork store and they don't only have the Dive Fork housing, they also have accessories like lenses, tripods, trays, lights and so on. So feel free to go and check them out and if you feel like you need an accessory or the housing itself, make use of that extra 6% that you're getting through the um offering from Dive Fork. Thank you very much, you guys at Dive Fork for sponsoring this series and this video here. And uh, I'll pass it right back to you for the critique on Ryan's video. Well, that's no critique at all. <laughs> um, no, Ryan, um, as we already started before um, our sponsorship part from Dive Fork, is we love what you put together. It's um, the footage itself, is, it's it's excellent. It's, it's mm -hmm. very stable. It's very nice. It's uh, very thoughtful. The the diver coming uh, around the, I don't know what it was. It was a little boat where the diver was with, uh, with his torch yeah. uh, lighting yeah. it up. And um, yeah, the, the um, what was it? Well, the, a plane. No, the, the fish um, going through with the light rays coming oh, in. Oh, the pike. Oh, the pike. Yeah, it was yeah. a pike fish. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. I mean, that is just stupid. It's just not putting the camera on there. It was just beautiful shot. Mm. Um, I love that. And and then on top of that, the way you edited it, um, just the, the little things you put in there, like the the subscribe one in the housing of, of your camera, uh, of in the housing of your camera. That doesn't make any sense. The subscribe on the back of your camera in the housing. Um, yeah, the, 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 the garage you're opening up, showing the tanks and stuff. Yeah, just the whole thing. Very cool. Very nice, complete and round, yeah. I agree, yeah. Um, I have two things um, I think you could work on. And the first thing uh, would be the speed ramping. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's it's good, um, but with a little bit more time and a little bit more fine tuning, uh, you could improve. I think it's, it's more an issue of stability. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit too shaky. It could be more, yeah, more stable. Um, I'm not sure if, it, if faster uh, does the trick. Uh, but I think the stability um, mm. would do would do better. Mm. Yeah, not sure about the faster. I mean, by making it way faster, so it doesn't it doesn't just speed up, but it's mm. like really fast. That could help. And then yeah, working on the stabilization. But I mean, this is this is just a really a small uh, yeah. thing there. And uh, I know how hard it can be sometimes to um, actually make these shots really stable because underwater, um, as soon as you start working with speed ramps and speeding up your footage, you're always going to get a little 
you know, the micro jitters and the small movements. And as soon as you start speeding that footage up, it's, it's going to be yeah. more visible. So yeah, it's a long period of time where you're yeah, yeah, capturing exactly. your where, where you have to keep it very, very steady. So that that's something that is not very easy. Um, if you've uh, included it anyways, and I think you've done a good job, but yeah. you know, this is, I agree, this is probably the only thing that we can really um, bring on as a critique here in the entire film. Everything yeah. else was, uh, was really, 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 really cool. Uh, you've got one more thing maybe? You yeah, said? it's just like more like an idea or yeah. what, you can, what you can try out. Is I think you start doing it, it was at the beginning, the garage door, uh, there was, I'm not sure if it's the original sound, mm -hmm. um, the, the opening of the door, or it was sound designed. And then I think the subscribe um, button inside the housing was as well sound designed. Just keep on doing that. Mm -hmm. Because I think you can you can put more like more fun with it and keep keep the, the audience more even more captivated. I don't know, for example, the, the fish in front of the lens, yeah. like make a, a knock on, on glass, uh, stuff like that. Just to, yeah, just... Make it more captivating. Try mm -hmm. out different stuff, uh, especially in a hybrid reel. You can can try out um, some things and and see how yeah. it goes. Not that you weren't creative enough. No, definitely not. It's just like an idea which came up. Yeah, uh, yeah. A little add on maybe. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And um, what was your favorite shot in that film? If you had to pick one, what was your favorite shot? The pike fish. The pike. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I really enjoyed the leaf that we saw towards the end of the uh, film. There was a pier behind it, yeah. the sun shining in from the top, and then that leaf oh, yeah. in slow motion yeah. turning. I found that to be a very, very yeah. cool shot. And sometimes you don't really need the tiger sharks and the mantis. A leaf in a murky lake can do just as well. <laughs> and Ryan has shown this uh, very, very well in this film here. Cool. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it from my side. Maybe Excellent. you want to sum it up? Yeah, I would. I do, yes. So to sum this up, Ryan, thank you again for submitting this film. We've uh, had so much fun watching it. And uh, to be quite honest, after we finish recording here, I'll just watch it again yeah. just because I can, because it's so much fun. Um, we really enjoyed how short, compact uh, this film was, how you put everything in there, uh, and also how creative you were in the editing process, making this film um, so much, so so pleasant to watch. And uh, yeah, just something that you, you want to watch over and over again. I particularly really liked the choice of music as well. I think it was something that... Uh, just fits fits the film and the footage that we see quite well. Your type or your style of editing, and it keeps the it keeps the pace very quick. And that's what you want to have on a highlight reel. You want to go quick, and you want to have quick cuts and highlights. And that's what you've done with that music. I think it it fits perfect to what you were showing us. Um, on the improvement side. We mentioned the speed ramping. That's something that you can uh, maybe work a little more on in future projects. And uh, the sound design that you've included partly on this uh, on this project already. Try to do it uh, throughout the entire film. So in your uh, on the underwater shot as well. Um, and then, man, you're rocking. This is a really really cool thing that you've created here and again thank you so much for submitting it and allowing us to show it to the audience here as always we're going to be linking um, ryan's film as well as his youtube channel down in the video description below so you guys can go and check out uh, his other work that is on his youtube channel um what am i forgetting uh well if you guys want us to review one of your thank films you then uh, write us an email to contact at matthiaslieber.com. Put in the email the link to your video and a uh, short description, camera used, lights, um, dive destination, anything special, uh, which is interesting for us and for the audience. Uh, right now, you have to help me out. You've got about nine to nine 10 Nine to month, 12 months. 12 months. Yeah, depending. Yeah, a little bit depending uh, on how uh, many... Uh, subscriptions we uh, we get in the meantime, but it's 
at least nine months that you'll have to wait before we get to your subscription or to your submission, excuse me. Uh, but there is a way to jump the line. If you wanna, uh, if you don't want to wait for that long, you can always become a member of our YouTube channel, pick the Underwater Filmmaker membership, and that will prioritize your submission and we will watch it right away and review and publish it here on the channel within a couple weeks instead of nearly a year of waiting time. Very well said, Matthias. Thank you. I do this every week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much, guys, for your time and for watching. We'll bring this video to an end here and let you get on with your day. Uh, don't forget to keep capturing all your amazing underwater adventures. And once you've done so, submit them here to the series so we can review them and show them to the world. Um, until next Thursday, have an awesome week and we'll see you in a week's time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.